serve me well that that camera set up it's like what is that is that like a drone thing it's like yeah. it's like a stabilizer that's what i thought you had when yeah. you had that surf comp down and yeah the drone's best and yeah like, oh, he's flying a drone and you yeah can, you know the ones you look through the thing yeah flying it. Just... yeah so we've got the minimal setup today we've got the it's a tripod just so you can film surfing it's usually a pretty good tripod to go to and then just a, a bag with some camera stuff in it just trying to um when you're filming big days you just don't want to bring too much stuff hey it's just like you get worn out so that's where we're at at the moment cool sometimes i think about like surfboards being weapons but weapons can you know be used against people but a sword's like i don't know well a sword can too but it's sort of like a bit like life like everything's got two edges to it like you've got the yin and the yang and then you've got like light versus darkness and it's like that kind of concept that we we can be either or either so where the power is, is is you're trying to walk between the two of them and at any point you could have a transformation or any point that you could pretty much fall back into darkness so it's like trying to maintain that balance in your life it is a it's a tightrope walk We've just left uh, Inverloch and now we are approaching approaching one Thaggy. What a beautiful place. The epicenter of Bass Coast. Yeah, a lot of construction work going on at the moment in the town. It's definitely changing, but... If we find a better price, Bunnings will beat it by 10%. <laughs> exactly. Just make sure you take your, your printout or your, your screenshot and your your phone and you're all over it. You, you get your discount. Ten percent better <laughs> off. Uh, a new skate park in the playground here. Yeah. So just to the left here, there's that little area in between where the kids' playground is, and that's going to be removed. And then you've got the the uh, Norfolk Island Pine. That's going to remain, and then the park's going to be all around there. So. Uh, pretty good view isn't it that street there Kilcunda Ridge Road apparently I just learned the other day is that the original township of Kilcunda was actually on that road believe it or not and that's like it's amazing like you could live here your whole life and there's always something to learn like a bit of history or you know there's someone that you haven't met that surfs like there's always you know every day you're learning something about you know the world we live in or even like something about yourself which is really cool. Kate Woolmoy out to the left. We've got the world famous used to be Iolantis on the corner here on the left. Now Ripco have actually taken it over. Now we're going past the you know the world famous Kate Woolmoy. I'm sure we'll go check that out at some stage and go for a surf. But today, the conditions aren't looking favorable for Woolamai, so we'll keep going. Hopefully there's enough swell on the other end of the, the island. They're saying it's a solid kind of six foot. So probably within like two minutes of the, of the place now, which is really cool. Getting pretty excited to, to jump in the water and you know, the sun's out, it's midweek, it's Tuesday. Shouldn't be too many people surfing. Most people at work, uh, work looks different for lots of different people these days a lot of people are kind of working still kind of working from home a little bit and that's sort of finding that sort of balance between home life and actually going back to the offices so yeah you just got to find what your passion is and just keep doing it and eventually it's gonna just you know it's gonna be a lot fun and you know life's about having fun and, and finding a bit of happiness so uh, and that's what we're doing at the moment we're just trying to do things that are kind of, you know, a bit unknown. You don't really know what who you're going to see at the beach, right? You could see anyone at the beach. You could see anyone anywhere. You just don't know. That's a, I think that's the magic of the of the universe. It's like the attraction around the next corner. You just don't know what is going to be around the next corner, but you know that, you know, you're going to be okay. So, um, here we go. We go around to Flynn's. But used to be able to see in through the car park when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, now you can't can't see anything. But it, it's, it's awesome, like to see this area, like all the big banks is coming up, and it's just like every time you go for a surf, it's like coming and just experiencing nature, like just walking down to the surf and just kind of making that, you know, talking to people and just jumping in the ocean. 
So there's a few surfers here. A few hardcore not surfers. Yeah, not too many. Cool. Where are we gonna park? Front and center. Get like a beautiful view of the, the Western Port over here. It's like, oh, it's clean. Look at that. Nice. Tide's gonna fill up pretty quickly, so probably only have like an hour of power. How's right point looking? Someone out. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of filling up everywhere at the moment, eh? Yeah, oh, you've already surfed today? Yeah, I surfed here like dawn this morning. Yeah. There's still a little bit of tide, but it's on its way out. It's yeah. The wrong time. Yeah. yeah. But there's no one here, so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There's, there's probably gonna, not going to be too many other options when it's like this, uh, like especially like clean kind of conditions. Uh, yeah. Right point would be too kind of too high. You'd be surfing yeah. on the corner there. Look at that inside bit, eh? Look at this one. From deep. Got, got right point over there. Uh, you can see it's like getting pretty full, so. And, you know, we've got the pretty high tides at the moment, so it fills up really quickly. And, yeah. As you can see, it's, everything's just popping at the moment. It's because it's just so green. Look at the contrast of the, the landscape. It's absolutely amazing. You can see like over in the corner there, you've got, you got like that bit of beach there, that's Cat Bay. And that's, uh, that's a good spot to, to learn to surf. Let's get down there. Sweet, cool. We'll see, might see you out there. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. I'm all sorted. Got the two board carry, man. This is the thing with video, like, ladies and gentlemen, everything, everything just takes a little bit longer. Like, but that's cool. Just gotta do what you're doing. If I can go out there, my intention is to go out there, just get a couple of fun waves. And we've made a little bit of a clip and done something that's like, outside of our comfort zone. Got like a little bit of a bit of a creek here, which is cool. All that rain sort of filtering. These sort of things are really important for waves because they actually they push the sand out. Unfortunately, what's going on at the moment is uh, a lot of these creeks aren't running anymore. They only run when it gets like heaps of rain because they're doing a lot of damming. Creeks naturally just want to flow. Um, if you stop the flow, then you stop the sand getting pushed out and then you stop the waves. Because you got, when I went to Mexico, the best waves in the world, they all had these river systems on them. So, so someone's flying a drone at the moment. How you going? Hi. Uh, how's the drone flying going? Yeah, it's learning. Yeah, sweet. How long you had the drone for? Uh, maybe a month. So you got the guys over here, they're all enjoying the, the drone. First time they've actually kind of flown it, really, isn't it? So it's how you get good at anything, you just got to do it. Like, and everyone just gets better at it, so. I've got like a, a five eight. This is like a twin fin, and then I've got like a five, five, nine and a half. It's like a performance board, so see if I can get find some flow out there. Better keep going, hey. Fun. Enjoy, see you later. The white drone. It's that's called the law, it's a law of attraction. Every time most of the time I go, most of the time I'll be filming 
and uh, you'll, you'll cross paths with someone else doing the same thing. It's just like life, you know? Like attracts like, you know? So, it's cool. Yeah, well that's the drone of the land you're holding there. <laughs> Flynn's Reef. What sort of angle do you like to shoot from? Yeah. Just trying to think if this is looks good. That's a wrap, we've just been at Lake Flynn's Reef. There's quite a long time in between sets, so you're kind of sitting around, it's like, it's pretty easy to kind of lose focus, and you know, I kind of got one good wave at the start, and then I got one really nice one, I'd sort of drift off of, like the top, and then quite now, unfortunately. I should have done my stretches before I went out, but I was in a bit of a rush, so. Hopefully we can find a, another way soon, like maybe tomorrow or the next day, so and then trying to get some more waves. So today just been riding this like five, five nine and a half JS board. It's been like an amazing board. I originally got this for the wave pool, so um, yeah. Stubbs is gonna get back to the block to pick up the kids, so um, got like five minutes. So thanks Stubbsy for helping me out today. Appreciate it. Epic. Woo.